somebody had to say it, so I am just going to say it. What is going on, y'all? Five Sports Talk back at it with another video talking some NBA, talking NBA playoffs. And I've been watching the playoffs as intently as I'm sure you guys have. And people like myself who are NBA junkies, NBA nerds, total NBA heads, don't want to admit it. But these playoffs, folks, have been pretty boring, okay? And yes, I know there have been some series here and there. The Celtics Wizards series has been pretty exciting with, uh, you know, those two teams not liking each other. It's gotten very physical. Spurs Rockets has been exciting here and there. But as a whole, you are talking about a sweep land, okay? The Cavs swept the first two rounds, and now the Warriors have swept the first two rounds. Folks, the first time since 1989, two teams have started 8-0 and in the NBA playoffs. Basically, it's the Cavs and the Warriors. And here's the funny thing. We all knew this. We all knew the Cavs and the Warriors were going to meet in the NBA Finals. But it's kind of like when you hear about something versus when you actually see it. It has a totally different effect on you. And just thinking about it versus actually seeing how the playoffs have played out, I have to say this is fairly disappointing. I mean, every game is a blowout. The mismatch level has just been, uh, you know, unparalleled. And maybe, you know, we're just witnessing greatness because of how well LeBron's playing and, of course, the Warriors with how historic they are. But at the same time, there's a reason why there's a salary cap, okay? The NBA wants there, and these other leagues want there to be competition. It's not fun when the best players are on one team. And I remember, because I don't want to be a hypocrite, I made a video about this uh, back when Kevin Durant joined the Warriors, and I said, is this going to ruin the NBA? And at the time, I said it would not ruin the NBA because all of the teams would be gunning for the Warriors. But what I did not keep in mind is... You can gun for them all you want, but you won't beat this Warriors team barring any injury. And that's the problem now is that until the finals, this is what we're going to have to deal with. And the playoffs have just gotten boring. And it's quite frankly not fun to watch. I mean, the Jazz, the Blazers, the Raptors, the Pacers, they were glorified scrimmages, okay, for the Cavs and the Warriors, basically, okay? Tyron Lue was trying out new lineups in the middle of the game, okay? Steve Kerr is out, uh, God bless him and I hope he gets better but you know the Warriors have not missed a beat okay the Jazz haven't even threatened them okay so it's just how much longer is Adam Silver and the NBA going to be okay with this um, it's kind of funny though because in the 90s the Bulls dominated and then in the 80s you had Bird and Magic and everybody sort of uh, was okay with that those were the glory years of the NBA but it's kind of like okay is this how it is going to be? Because I don't see the Warriors going anywhere anytime soon. LeBron James is playing the best basketball of his entire career, arguably. He's not going anywhere. And so what are these other NBA players thinking that are going to be free agents? Are they going to create another super team? So to me, I feel like what's going to happen is either one of two things. First, obviously, this is going to continue until... There's some sort of internal chemistry issues within those two teams. Like, let's say, Clay Thompson's fed up with being the third option, and he decides he wants to trade, he wants to bolt, he already got a ring, and he doesn't want anything else with the Warriors teams. He wants his own team. Or two, uh, what I do think can happen is that other superstars might decide, okay, listen, it's become a two-man league. Why don't we make it a three- or four-man league, you know? And it's still no competitive balance, but basically what you're doing is instead of making it just the Cavs and Warriors, you're sort of expanding it by one more team. Like, let's say, and this, they wouldn't be on the level, but if Carmelo and Paul George went somewhere, or if, you know, Kyle Lowry and Chris Paul decided to go to the same team, which wouldn't make sense because they're both point guards, but you got my gist. So that is what I see happening, but as of right now, and I'm excited for the NBA Finals, I can't wait for them to start. This is what we are dealing with, folks. The NBA playoffs have gotten boring, and until the finals, they're going to stay this way. I'm not happy about this. Let's see what happens. What are you guys think about the NBA playoffs? I haven't enjoyed them that much. Let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment down below. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.